Hi, I'm Monica Satcher with Acts of Love, a ministry of Satcher Evangelistic Association. The National Center of Missing and Exploited Children reports that 350,000 children go missing each year. Conservatively, they estimate 100,000 of those children are exploited and trafficked in the sex industry. Hi, my name is Leslie and I was trafficked at the age of 14 and this is my story. Me and my friend, we, we ran away from home and God mixed up with this 26 year old man who did satanic ritual abuse to us. Well, I should say to me, that night changed my, my life forever. running away. Went to another friend's house. My 16 year old friend, her mom would send us to this hotel with this old guy. One time he laid out some some crystals on the um, on the table and he's like, here try this. So I tried it. I like felt no more pain or, or like no more hurt, no more sorrow. I was like, wow. So from there I was like, man, I gotta have more. I gotta have more. The mom would send us there to different men and he would videotape us, you know, he could do whatever as long as he kept giving me the drug, you know, so. So from there, from 12 to 14, he did that and with other men, you know, whatever. Just... So I was 14 and then I, I got introduced to this family. He was said he wanted to be my boyfriend. I felt loved, he would buy me stuff, buy me gifts. So, so I was like, good, I only have to sleep with one guy. And my friends, he starts shooting up and starts selling them. So he never sold me for drugs, but um, he sold my friends for drugs, lots of them. So, but I thought it was normal though. Just like very brainwashing, very brainwashing, like with my body. He would make me watch porn 24 hours a day where I just, I felt like I had to dress up like the woman to meet the criteria that he was watching. So finally at the age of 18, I got away from him and I, um, and then I started selling my own friends because I didn't have to sleep around with men no more. Um, I got smart. <laughs> I felt like I got smart, you know. I didn't have to sell my own body. I just sold my own friends because that's how I was taught because that's how he showed me, you know, sell the girls and, you know, that's the way to hustle, the way to get your own money. And then from there I met this girl and she then she introduced me to um, the strip club world. We, we were making money, like lots of money. And I felt so good though. It wasn't about the money though. It was like men gave me money because I was pretty and I was loved. I would OD several times off of ecstasy. I just want to say my friend ended up dying and ODing in the strip club off of heroin. So that's what happened to her life. I was living from hotel to hotel, but he would like sell me and bring like men home and stuff to sleep with me. I would sleep with his friends. We'd, like, it was normal to me. I like felt nothing because of the drugs. I felt numb from the drugs. Having a son, that just wasn't enough. I didn't stay clean, um, so it just wasn't fulfilling. I was still numb and still hurt from, from the childhood abuse, from the traffickers and from the drugs and the just the abuse, the sexual abuse. October 22nd, 2015, I stopped using meth, I stopped using all drugs, I stopped sleeping around with men. I no longer had to be fulfilled from men. I no longer, I'm no longer hurt from men. I have a father's love. He, the Lord Jesus Christ has delivered me from meth, from sleeping with men. He has filled me with the fire of God. He has baptized me in the Holy Ghost and with fire. And I give him all the glory and all the praise. I am a soul winner. I go to Bible school. I lead two Bible studies. I'm part of Axel of Ministry. I go to the strip clubs now and I lay hands on the sick and they recover. I cast out devils. I receive, I have joy. The most important thing is I'm healed. I'm healed. And I love that I don't have to give my body for sex no more.
and I love myself. <laughs>